We're going to be making beautiful trifles here. We're cutting a few corners too. We're not making the sponge cake. No, true. What are we doing? We're making cinnamon donut <sighs> trifles. Oh, donuts. <laughs> I love donuts. I like donuts too. <laughs> I think donuts have come into their own lately. They and have. I, that was the inspiration behind this trifle recipe. Yep. Fantastic. Right, some jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in here some milk and some cream mm -hmm. and bring it up to the boil. And I need you to combine the other parts for the custard, which Great. is some corn flour and some sugar and four egg yolks, please. Okay, I'll get straight onto that. Right. So we're going to make a delicious white chocolate custard. Okay. So we need about 100 grams of the... Cadbury baking chocolate, and we can just break that into pips and pop that in to the custard a little bit later on. So you use a combination for your custard of milk and cream? Yeah, it just helps to enrich it. Um, and I guess the thing is, if you use all cream, you know, there's a higher chance of curdling and so forth. Okay. So a bit of a combination. And usually an egg custard would be, you know, milk and cream with egg yolks just to hold it together. But I think, you know, a bit of corn flour is like the insurance policy. Yep. Absolutely. And this is one of those uh, desserts. I'm loving your desserts at the moment because they're no fuss, they're bulletproof and they, they, they don't take true. long at all to put together and they just really look fantastic. All right, so I'm just whisking there the corn flour mm -hmm. into the eggs. No lumps. We'll just wait for that to dissolve. And then now we'll add all of that sugar. Mm -hmm. And then again, whisk that in until it's dissolved. And when you're making trifles, you can be as elaborate or as basic as, as you want. As possible, I think yeah. so too. As long as the flavours are there, it doesn't matter what you put in them. And I think people associate with trifle often with Christmas, but I just think trifles are great. A great crowd pleasing dessert that you can sure have at any time of year. Absolutely. The milk looks hot enough, it's mm -hmm. just coming up to the boil, so I'm going to pour it in here. You want to just give that a little whisk? Whoa. I just don't want to splash it everywhere. No, I know. <laughs> a little more. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. There you go. And then that can come back over here. And now this goes straight back into the saucepan because we're going to thicken it up. And it's always very important to put the milk, the hot milk, straight into the eggs because if you put it straight in the pan, well, it's going to scramble your eggs. Mm -hmm. We don't want scrambled eggs. No, we want beautiful white chocolate custard. Speaking of which, Speaking of which. could you please break in some chocolate? Chocolate. So we've got the richness of the egg yolks yep. and the chocolate here and we've got the insurance policy of the corn flour. So that goes in. Once it starts to thicken up, we're just going to cool it down to room temperature and I guess we're going to chill until it's completely cold. Mm -hmm. Yep, and Wonderful. then we can assemble. Good. The custard's ready, so Ooh. I'm taking it out of the fridge. And the jelly. We've got jelly, jelly. too. You can't have a trifle no, without jelly. You can't have a trifle without jelly. <laughs> All right, first things first, I think we need to get these donuts in. I might put that over yep. here. Do you want to just cut that up? I can. What mm. flavour jelly have you made here? Uh, raspberry. Ooh. But you could use strawberry or my mum used to always use the port wine jelly. Oh, yum. I used to like port wine jelly. Sometimes I use jam, but it's not the same. It's not the same without that the texture of that wobbly jelly. Yeah, I agree. And what kind of donuts are you using? Those are just little cinnamon donuts. Mm -hmm. Although, you know, if you were doing tropical, I suppose you could have pineapple donuts. I do love a pineapple donut. So I'll be on jelly duties. And right. then what's the next? Uh, fruit. Fruit, okay. So we've got some beautiful yeah. fresh blueberries there and mm -hmm. some raspberries. Good, eh? I'll follow up. How many layers are we doing? Just doing the one layer just for this? One. Yep. Yep. And we're doing six individual servings here, but by all means, do a one big monster. Yeah, one big bowl is fine. Too. Try for. Of course. Blueberries. Beautiful. And mm, oh, it's lush. It's thick. Oh, yeah. My hands are shaking because <laughs> if I make a spill on the side of this glass. Do not mess it up, Jazz. And what have you got over here? Oh, I've just made some nice chocolate curls. Okay. And they just go right on the top. Oh, they are going to go right on the top. Gosh, it makes it these. Curls look fantastic. Just poke them up like spears. Yeah, it makes them look a bit special, doesn't it? And then, of course, when we've got a bit more time, you'd put them in the fridge. But you will try it now, huh? If I have to. Oh, uh... yes. <laughs> Just confirm it for us. Yeah, you definitely want to chill them, but she knows me. I am very impatient. <laughs> Flit. Mm. It's terribly good. Yummy. <laughs> Turned your donuts could be so special, huh? Who knew? That's a fantastic idea. Bright, 
really gorgeous, really tasty. Just make sure you put them in the fridge, just so they're chilled. Mm -hmm. Do them ahead of time, ready to go for a dinner Perfect. party.